Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learnorama and the Facebook page uh, Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would recommend that you do so. Uh, and if you haven't become the fan of the of the page, I would recommend that you do so as well. Uh, in this tutorial, we are learning about uh, how to pass um, arrays as parameters uh, to a function and uh, actually this is the fourth part four of this tutorial uh, if you haven't watched the first three parts I would recommend that you do so the link to the first part should be on the screen at this point and uh, right now we have basically almost completed the implementation of this function here which basically computes the sum of all these uh, number of days here in the individual months um, and and returns it and it's supposed to return it back we haven't uh, gone to that point yet and I had drawn a picture in the previous scroll which I lost so I basically drew it uh, right here on and paint so that I don't keep on losing it again and again um, so let's see so this is this is what uh, it is whoops this is what is represented um, this is the representation of this array here days which was declared right here in our uh, in this function and and this has you know 11 uh, 12 elements starting from 0 to 11 indexed from 0 to 11 and this is the reason it, it is it has 12 elements we know is because you know it is it is being um, uh, it's getting its values from n days this array itself which has been declared as element with uh, array with 12 elements okay and then there is this uh, uh, this variable that we have declared as sum which is supposed to store the sum of all those uh, uh, number of days or all the elements in this in this array days okay and this array has hard-coded value of 31 28 31 30 and then 31 at the end um, and so on so so as this thing executes as this loop executes it runs you know it changes the value of index from 0 to all the way to uh, to 12 uh, one less than 12 which is 11 um, and it basically indexes into the into this array to access all those elements of this array one by one so when the index value would be 0 it will be accessing this element when the index value would be 1 it will be accessing this element and so on and um, and this this statement is the same as uh, let's let me write this statement right here sum is equal to sum plus days of index okay this is the same statement as this and what it does what it says is basically add the current value of sum to this element which is basically indexed by this variable index okay for different values of index and keep adding them and then storing them back into the sum so that it can be used by the for the next iteration of this for loop okay so the and we one important thing that we have done is basically we have initialized sum to zero this is critically important otherwise first time when this statement will be executed the value of sum is not guaranteed to be zero okay in the beginning and when this will be executed it may have any garbage value very big value as well you know 45,694 95 okay <coughs> excuse me and this is uh, this is what it's gonna use to start with this computation obviously you know we are gonna be we are gonna be way off if we did that so it is critically important that we basically store uh, that we basically change the value here to zero let me erase this okay otherwise it will have some garbage value okay so that's what we did here and as this program or as this function executes and this loop executes it does this again and again so let's start so first time the value of index would be zero okay the value of index would be zero and we will be accessing this element here 31 and the value of sum is zero so zero plus 31 the answer is 31 and this gets stored into sum back back into sum so the value of sum becomes um, 31 here okay and then this loop executes again by changing the value of index to 
by incrementing it by 1 which means the value of index will be 1 so next time we will be accessing this element so the value of days of 2 is 28 and then the current value of sum is 31 and we'll add them together the result would be 59 and that gets stored into sum back into sum so the value of sum becomes 59 after that and then next time when this will be executed we will have 59 plus uh, 31 because the index value of index would be 2 so the value of days of 2 is the second element or the third element of, of days array 31 and that will basically give us 90 so we basically store 90 here and so on and hopefully after running this through for 12 iterations 12 times we should have 365 because there are 365 days in a year right unless you know there's something wrong in our program here or you know or people think that you know from day one they are wrong that there are 365 days in a year which obviously is not true anyway so one important thing that's missing here is basically to return this value back we have computed all this value we have to return it back to the caller by using return statement we learned that if if the type of the return value is not as anything other than void we have to have a return statement in there so that you and it has to have a type that it returns a variable that has the same type as the return type right here or it could be expression also if you want you could basically return sum multiplied by 2 this is perfectly okay but obviously it doesn't make sense in our in our in in what we are trying to do here but this is a perfectly okay program to do that you can return an expression as long as the type of the ex result of this expression is the same as the type of the function and then this will be stored when this will be called here the value returned will be stored into this variable and days in year and then we'll be restoring this way uh, uh, printing this value out in this message so let's let's try it out how do you run this program press F9 and then oh I have it already running here so F9 oops F9 and here we go look at that Ta-da! the number of days in a year is 365 so we have verified everybody in the world is correct that there are 365 days in a year cool right so this concludes well see the thing is that let's see if we can real quick cover this thing this is one way of passing this is one way of passing arrays one, another way of passing arrays is basically pointers just like we did before if you define a pointer like this you basically are saying that you want the address of the memory location here and once you get the address of the memory location you could basically manipulate uh, that memory location or any other lo location after that you know so what you get here is actually let's see what you get here is actually a pointer okay and this pointer is supposed to be pointing to an array of integers this one n days okay and days the name of the pointer is going to be days now because the, the days is basically a pointer variable okay and it is going to be pointed to by n days here okay and this n days has all those elements right here right and then we could basically using this pointer we could basically access this element and then this element and this element and this element and this element and so on okay and we learned in our previous tutorial that you could use pointers like this also just like you can treat pointers uh, just like an array okay and and this particular program this way will work just as good as the previous one okay when you pass this n days what is it going to do would the call look any different no because n days actually is the name of this array and i when i was talking about the arrays i told you guys that basically um, guys and girls basically um, the n days actually represents that the name of the array represents the address itself so we are actually passing the address right here 
So this is a perfectly okay call. I will conclude this tutorial right here. Please keep watching the tutorials. Thank you so much.